Hey everybody, this is Dominic D'Angelo, WrestleZone.com, and I am here with Rhea Ripley for WrestleMania weekend here in Dallas, Texas. Rhea, how does it feel to kind of just be in Dallas overall? What's the environment for you like here in comparison to where you grew up? Oh man, it's right now I'm excited. Uh, I keep saying that it's the calm before the storm because it really is. I know that when it comes to the day of Mania and it's the second day where my match is on, I know that I'm going to be the most nervous wreck that you've ever seen. <laughs> um, but here in Texas, like it, it's actually really lovely. And I haven't had a chance to walk around, but I have been here before, and I always love it here. And it sort of reminds me of home a little bit, um, especially with the weather, but man, I miss Australia. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I bet. When's the last time you got back there? Um, I think it's been three and a half, four years. Really? Yeah, it's been a long, long time, so I haven't seen my family for that long. It's Holy smokes. crazy. When's, uh, was it like for Christmas, or when was the last time, or just when you left? Um, I think I went home for Christmas. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, because they came to visit me and then I went home for Christmas and surprised them. So. <laughs> That's great. Well, yeah. I, that had to be a good one. Yeah. Um, okay, I just want to ask you about, like, uh, you like, you're really into music and stuff like that. How, what's some of your big musical influences, would you say? Um, so, I love Motionless and White. Oh. Motionless and White are my all-time favorite band. They're fantastic and yeah. they always get me revved up. Um, so they're definitely, they're up there. And... I found this band like I want to say a year ago now. Ice Nine Kills. Okay. They're amazing as well. They sing about like horror movies, and it's just really even just watching their video clips. Like I watch it on the treadmill sometimes. It gets me through my workout. <laughs> so, yeah, they're lovely. They're great. Um, New Year's Day. Ash Costello. She sings my song. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course I love them. Yeah, of yeah. course. But there's so many different bands that I love, and I, I have so many different genres as well. To be Do you have like honest. a favorite concert you went to or anything? Oh, favorite concert. Yeah. So we have this thing in Australia. It's not a thing anymore, but it was when I was there. And it was called Soundwave Festival. Okay. Um, and that was my favorite uh, because I got to see so many of my favorite bands all at once because people didn't really come to Australia. Sure, yeah. It was just so far and so expensive. So like when we had Soundwave Festival, everyone came and it was like a two-day event and it was outside and everyone's sweaty and <laughs> just hitting each other and just moshing out. And it was my favorite. My all-time favorite. Oh, that's awesome! Like I love those kind of wins, interactive stuff and just going nuts. My yeah. buddy did that one time. I like I can't remember in Philly, but yeah, <laughs> I couldn't. Oh man. Um, okay, this is a main event. So, like obviously Charlotte and Ronda are going main event in that WrestleMania. If you had to pick like a main event opponent for WrestleMania, who would you go with? For myself. For yourself, yeah. So I've done Oscar. I've done Charlotte. I. Honestly, would love to face Bianca. That'd be a good one. Yeah. She's think... got such a unique style about her. And yeah. like you guys, your personalities and personas contrast with one another. Yes. I think it would and we just know well. each other so well as well. So I think it'd be an all out war. Yeah. So I'm down. Like You guys got the strength in it going? Yep. Yeah. You yep. kick some ass at that one. Tough competitor. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. Yeah. What do you pattern your look and like style overall? It could be outside influences, wrestling and stuff like that. Anything in particular? For my style? For your style? And um, it's yeah. a lot of like the music that I listen to. Like, mm -hmm. it's funny because uh, Motionless in White just released a new song called Cyber Hex, and ah. I was watching the video clip, and there was so many parts in it where I was like, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Because like Chris and I, we just look so alike, and he's bleached his hair now. Yeah. He was wearing the dark lipstick. He had the dark eyes, and he had like the red light behind him. I'm like, I do that all the time in <laughs> wrestling. It was so wild. I was watching it. I was like, it's me. Like, I had to pause it, and I was like, <laughs> look, I, I'm nailing it. <laughs> I, I can sing. <laughs> I'm darn good. Yeah. So I get a lot of my inspo from just growing up watching my bands and That's, yeah. yeah, seeing like film clips and all that sort of stuff. It's sort of just me you know right right well now you're into horror movies what's uh what's some of your favorites uh i love freddy krueger do you yeah i got freddy krueger oh how about that yeah nightmare on elm street yeah nightmare in wwe oh my god so. <laughs> yeah. you, would you do an entire freddy krueger themed at, at some point you think yeah i did one for war games did you yeah it it just didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. Oh, okay. But I, I did do one for the first ever Women's War Games match. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to do it again, though. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. All right, I'll let you go with this one. Um, if you weren't wrestling, uh, a lot of uh, people have the like, side projects or other passions that they kind of get in. What would you kind of go into, would you think? I think I honestly would have been a personal trainer. Yeah? Yeah, I love the gym. I love working out, and I'm really passionate about that sort of stuff. So I probably would have done... Something like along those lines of like physical fitness, and I think I would have absolutely fried, uh, fried my brain just like thinking about it. But like, I think it would have been the best job for me. 
people find a lot of freedom in that too, being able to do that. Yeah, and, and it's another way to like help people get to their goals as well, which is something that I always love to do. Yeah. So. Well, great. You're such a positive light and everything uh -huh. like that. So I really appreciate you taking the time. No to worries. Me, so. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.